Okay, so have I met my hair goals is what this video is about. I usually do these type of videos every year around November, obviously, which is like towards the end of the year. I will link the other two, um, you know, reflections of my hair journey um, in the information box. So this year, I didn't specifically have any hair goals other than to carry on with my regimen, carry on. Okay, I did have hair goals, but it was more of a continual thing. So carry on with my dusting, carry on with my regimen, carry on looking after my hair, avoid setbacks, be consistent. You know, I did struggle a bit with um, trying not to buy products and I bought some things and they didn't really work. I don't know if you remember that. So I've tried to avoid being a product junkie, which I've been quite successful at. I haven't done too bad on that. I've slipped up a few times, but I've been kind of, I've been all right. I've stayed on track. <laughs> just been protective styling all year really like what i usually do is like the first month of my um after my texturized i usually do bantu knots and braid outs and have my hair down and stuff like that then after the first month i just go straight back to my buns and protective styles for the rest of my stretch so this year i have texturized only three times which i'm very happy about i remember telling you guys that i may change my mind and do like maybe add like like for next year maybe texturize more so maybe stretch every th um three months but i've kind of thought maybe i should just stick to you know texturizing every three e three times a year kind of thing so four month stretches and if i can go for longer i, ca I would but you know I think the less the better because we are using a chemical in our hair so it's, there's a right and wrong way to do things and I, I feel that this is the way that works best for my hair. This is the best condition my hair has been in my whole life so it's obviously working out so I shouldn't really change it so I will I should stick to that. I don't know if anything will change but I should stick to that and just be patient. Um, that's all really like my hair's been doing fine this year i've reached apl which is where i wanted to be and you know it's not fully like it's not to a stage where it's like fully touching it like i do have to pull my hair down to actually make it go there but i want to get to a stage where it's just like touching it and i won't have to pull my hair down but then again with the shrinkage that might take some time so yeah i'm pr I'm pretty happy with the way that my hair journey has gone this year i haven't had any crazy setbacks i haven't really done anything that i've been really disappointed with i mean i've had some little like hitches along the way but who doesn't have those so for next year i just won't want to continue as i've been going i think you know in order to um, get styles that have a lot of hang time i need a lot more length so i decided that that length i want to get to is maybe bra strap length or mid back length so that's something for the for the future but nothing obviously now i'm not gonna go crazy on oh, i want to grow my hair like i do want to grow it but in the meantime while it's growing i want to look after it so definitely just want to stick to what i've been doing continue growing my hair continue looking after my hair and hopefully it will be it will work well for me so the answer to the question is i have met my hair goals so i'll speak to you guys soon guys bye